Okay, so this is Draw My Story. It's a really good educational app that can be used in many different ways. So once you've opened up Draw My Story, you click on the plus icon to start your project and then enter your project name. So mine's going to be a holiday recount, as I'm going to ask my students to do this tomorrow. Just click that there. Then you get to this main screen. You've got at the bottom here, this is all your slides, so it's just like a PowerPoint. I'll explain about that later. The next is your brush colour, so you can choose your paintbrush's colour. And then this question mark's really good, gives you um, loads of information about what different things do. And then you've got the undo, redo, the preview, I'll come back to that later, um, that's the final thing you're going to do. And then this last one is your options. So first of all, I want to put in an image. So I'm just going to go down and insert an image. Here's a holiday picture. And then it lets you crop your picture. So that will be great. And then after you've cropped, um, don't go straight in. You can resize the picture. You can move it around. So I'm going to go like that, I think. Once you're happy with that, press the tick. And be careful about um, touching the screen because it will draw wherever you touch. So after you've done that, I'm going to start my pen writing and my painting. So I want to choose a nice dark blue for my colour. So I'm pressing OK and then I give it the title. And the place I went was called Sukhothai. And then I'm happy with that slide. Just keep it nice and simple to start with. And then go to slide 2. Again, I'm going to put another image in. Go back to my images. And this one, I'm going to do about some of the food I ate. So again, crop it to how you want it. You can rotate it if you want. Press the tick. And then don't forget, use this corner thing. Put it where you want and then press tick when you're happy with that. Paintbrush instead, I'm going to do a some text. So you go to insert text and then enter the text. So you just click in the box. I'm going to put delicious Thai food. When you're happy with that, just click the tick and then again you can move it around Use that corner thing to make it bigger. Perfect. And then at the bottom, you've got your pencil to edit your text again. You've got the um, the font that you can choose. Some really cool fonts. So I quite like. Let's have this one. and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe down there, that'd be great. And then once you're happy with that, you've got your slides. There's loads of other things you can put in. Um, you can put drawings in, you can put emojis in. Um, it, at the bottom here you can clear the scene. Um, I don't want to save yet. The last thing I want to do is if you go back you probably will advise your children to put in some more slides as well. Go to the preview button at the bottom. Just press got it on that. And then what it does is if you press the play button, you can actually play it through. And you can see how that's working. And then what you want to do is either put some music in on this one, or best thing I think for this is press the microphone and then you can record your voice over. Okay so to record your narration you click on the microphone 
and I can't actually show you this now because my microphone's already in use but you just click on the microphone and then it will play through your slides and you just talk over okay the final thing you need to do is click on the movie icon and it says save and export press yes and then you get standard quality for free um, the premium you have to pay for um, but the free is absolutely fine so I'm just going to go into free export and then it takes um, a few minutes just to generate your frames and then you're done and you've created your first story